Hey there, this is Veena from Pate Cake, the channel that's about baking and much, much more. A warm welcome to my channel. Today, let's prepare a refreshingly delicious Konkani beverage, Solkari. This antioxidant rich drink is popular as a digestive and as an appetizer in Goa and in the coastal regions of Maharashtra. But now, we are going to make it within just a few minutes, right here at Pata Cake. To start with, let's check out the ingredients. We'll mainly need one cup of grated coconut and around three tablespoons of kokum extract. This is the ready-made extract available as kokum agar in stores. It has a little salt added to it. But see that you don't pick up kokum syrup. That is sweetened kokum extract. We don't want that, okay? And in case you don't have or don't want to use the ready kokum extract, you could make your own from scratch at home. Just rinse around 10 freshly bought kokum skins with a little water to get rid of the salt that was added to preserve them and also any other impurities that could have got mixed with them. And then soak them in half a cup of very hot water and let them steep for around an hour. Or you could boil the kokum skins in water on medium-low heat for around 5 to 6 minutes and then let the liquid cool. Crush the kokum skins between your fingers to get your homemade kokum extract. After that, pass it through a fine strainer or muslin cloth. Just make sure the kokum skins are not too old. With such kokum, your solkadi will surely taste good but it won't have that attractive pink color. Old kokum will give a brownish tinge to solkari. The other ingredients we'll need to make solkari will be half a green chili because this is a spicy variety though if you have moderately spicy chilies you could use a full one. You'll also need four medium-sized garlic cloves, some chopped coriander, around two and a half teaspoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt but only if you're going to use homemade kokum extract. I'll now transfer the grated coconut to my mixer jar for extracting coconut milk. I'll slice the green chilli and the garlic cloves. and add these to the grated coconut along with one cup of hot clean drinking water. We need to use clean water because we won't be cooking the sole curry before consuming it. I'll grind this and be back. I'm using this strainer as a support for a muslin cloth through which I'll strain the coconut milk. We need to use a muslin cloth because we want the sole curry to be smooth without any fine bits of ground coconut that could pass through the strainer and then irritate your throat. I'll transfer the ground coconut residue to the mixer jar along with one cup of hot drinking water and grind it again. Let's strain this too through the muslin cloth. This second lot of coconut milk will be thinner than the first one we extracted. Let's discard the coconut residue now. I could have had one more round of extraction, but then that would have made our sole curry too thin. The sole curry should be neither too thick nor too watery. 
Let's transfer the coconut milk to a bowl. This is a little more than 2 cups in volume. The coconut milk is now lukewarm, but its consistency is just right. Let's stir in the sugar. I'm not adding any salt though, as I'll be using the ready kokum extract, which is slightly salty. Let's now stir the kokum extract into the coconut milk a little at a time, tasting the solkari in between. I'll begin by adding 1 tablespoon of the extract. Let's add one more tablespoon and taste it. I think I'll add just half a tablespoon more and then the taste will be perfect. I still have around half a tablespoon of kokum extract left in this small bowl. Okay, I'll now chill this in my refrigerator for an hour because I like to enjoy the sole curry cold. It's now time to pour the cool and refreshing sole curry into glasses. And then garnish it with chopped coriander. You could also add a sprinkling of chopped mint leaves if you want. And here's our delicious Goan sole curry. You could sip it along with your lunch or dinner or enjoy it as an after meal beverage. Just see that you have it while it's fresh. So how did you like today's video? Do send me your comments and let me know. But till my next video, take care and bon appetit.